want to live long They have no use for your song You're dead, you're dead, you're dead You're dead and out of this world Now I hope the compassion is gone You've sold out your dream to the world Stay dead, stay dead, stay dead You're dead and out of this world Hey guys, welcome back to a very special episode of What We Do Before the Shadows, the show dedicated to you guys, the fans, with all the secrets in BTS, all the spilling tea, that's right, and I'm wearing your favorite shirt, by popular demand, it's back, because you're saucy little minx, and speaking of little minx, my guest is the one, the only, Natasha Dimitriou! There she is! Hello! <laughs> I see you got some uh, Guillermo glasses on. Yes, I did. They actually based the character of Guillermo on me. That is true. That was actually one of the questions that people asked, and that's actually, um, that's true. But how did you actually get started, Tosh? Like, how did you get into acting? Um, I came out of the womb tap dancing, baby, and I <laughs> tap danced all the way to Hollywood. I never <laughs> looked back. I did look back to go, I have a very sore neck from birth. <laughs> But you did, you started off uh, in commercials. You're really, you've done really like big commercials in the UK and we got a uh, hold of one. And so like, this is actually- I will kill you. Let's I see will it. kill you, Bobby. Let's see this commercial. Natasha, you kill me. I will, I will kill you, Harvey. How many, how many uh, years of that run? That was actually, well, obviously, I don't know. Have you ever tried wine? Have you heard of wine? No, I'm not allowed. No, it's, well, it's this, like, it's this sort of drink. It's kind of niche. It's sort of European thing. I don't know if they, I don't know if you're Oh, the, the bubbly, it. is it bubbly ones? No, no, no. It's, um, it's, it's very thick and warm and you drink it. You drink it mainly. Um, you drink it mainly in the morning. It's sort of like a morning drink in Europe. And um, yeah, they contacted me to my people and my brand, and they said, "You are thick and warm. Come represent." Um, I should bring. I'll bring some next time we we are in the same country. I will. I'll bring a. I'll bring a box. I I love it. I mean, I I mean that does sound kind of good in the morning if it's a cold day, like a warm glass of what is it? Va wine. 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 Um, that sounds, I mean, that sounds really good. But, you know, we got to work together last season and this season. Um, and because of the show, we've actually gotten offers to do stuff. We actually got asked to do, I was going to do the music. People don't know this, but I actually um, Moonlight as a composer. And they asked me to do um, the remake of My Heart Will Go On. And they asked you to actually be in it. And we actually have a clip of uh, what was never seen, actually. Can oh, we show? Oh, my God. Wow. Wherever you are, I believe that the heart has gone. Yeah, there's nothing I hear, and I hope that my heart will, my heart Yeah. What's what's gutting is they decided to cut out because I came in with the the bass. We'll stay home. Right. Meet me. Meet me. I believe. No, wait, because you have to hear me. Wait, okay. wait, and then you'll know it. Okay. Go on. Once more, you open the door. But you, and they obviously decided to cut that, which is kind of. It's so weird. I think it was part of our best work, and people mm. don't know that, but the show was actually leading up to this big reveal of us in this. Um, anyways, 
and well, Shirley. No, we were always it was always pop, pop music, and then pop music, dance, uh, painter, mm. artist, and then sort of kind of near the bottom was kind of like yeah, acting, yeah. It was, we kind of fell into it. But like, speaking of acting, uh, people are loving Naja. Like, people are obsessed. What, why do you think it just resonates with so many people, like this character? Because she's the best. <laughs> I got a secret for you. Because she's the yeah. best character. Because she's, she's complex. She's a woman. She's got a big, fat pussy. I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? What am I saying? It's Saturday night. I had, I literally had two beers. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, why? Oh do, my God! Why what, the pe- <laughs> what was the question? I was saying that people love how um, you know charming and <laughs> endearing Natasha your character is, but actually, no. The character has so many layers. Like you're always talking about um, the past and like your village. Your village seems to be cursed with a lot. Of, I mean, there's just like a lot of backstory. This is what happened in the last couple episodes. Can we roll that clip of some uh, insight into your village? Curses are very common and very serious. Yes, this is true. When I was younger, I saw so many horrible curses going around. There was a man who was just in the market and he didn't pay the fair price for the meat of a goat. Then poof, you know, his bollocks are shriveled into two tiny little raisins. The man's bollocks, not the goat's. Oh yeah, no, sorry. I, I thought that was clear. No, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Curses really hit you where it hurts. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Your your village has so many stories. And also, there we see your doll introduced, which people are asking, where can they get a Nasha doll? Did you keep a doll? I, I, did, I did a lot of things on that set to try and get that doll. And I was not, I did not get it. Because we have two, right? Do we have two or one? There was, there was the main, there was the, there was the hero, there was the main doll who was the one that I ventriloquist. I was so you know how like her mouth has she's speaking. That's me being like, because <laughs> what people don't know is I am number one, a magician and a ventriloquist. Um, but then there was there was in other episodes. I can't give too much away, but the doll had to be used in other ways and the doll that moved was valuable and so they had to make a sort of crappy version of of the beautiful doll and um i they wouldn't even give me that they wouldn't even give me that not even scraps i can't (laughs) even get the scraps on that set who knows maybe next season you never know but we did that was one of the questions from the um, fans but we had tons of questions for you online and i'm going to read some of them and uh, and here we go. So, are you ready? I, I sent in a lot. I asked because I need I need to get deep with myself. I sent in a lot of questions for myself. No wonder, because this is that. I think this one's yours. It's Naja Lover sixty nine. Um, actually, that's not true. It's from Puppet Eyes from Twitter. Asks, what part of playing Naja do you feel was the hardest to portray, uh, and what do you hope to see in terms of the character development for Naja? What was the hardest part for her to portray? Um. I don't think there was anything uh, too hard. It's more just on the whole on that show, it's so you're so intimidated by how funny and talented everyone is that's around you, excluding um, there's one character who kind of is like a straight character. He plays like a sort of butler role mm. um, and that he's not intimidating at all. Yeah. Um, but everyone Char- else. The characters that I'm going to try and... It's something, something, something... Um, uh, la, g- 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 Colin? No, no, not Colin. He's his mark is like probably one of the funniest people I've ever met. G- oh. g- giz- it's not like you're trying to say you're trying to say Guillermo, but that's not the character you're talking about. No, that is that's the one. Yeah, no. So he um he is not that intimidating, but the rest of them are super super intimidating. And then obviously Jermaine, the creator, and he's there and he's like so intimidating. And what do I want? So no, yeah, the character comes very easy to me because I am deep. She's an no, asshole. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. No, there is. that's the most challenging thing of playing the character. That and also the tight costumes. Um, that is a challenge for me because I love nothing more than to be in a wasteless well, sack. 
Speaking of costumes, the next question that's perfect comes from W.T. Coombs. I, on just wanna, I have to finish my answer. What oh. do I want for Nadia for the future? I want her to be, if we are lucky enough to do more seasons, I want her to be madder and continue to be as stupid as the men and even more stupid and really get get way more hornier. Those are life goals. I think that for just, not just Nadia, but for everyone. And, you know. um, and and I want her to represent me as a person. The more I grow, the hornier I get. And it's fun when there's a bit of you in the character. <laughs> I love that you answered that fully. And Thank you. actually you've made got a good- to respect, You've got to respect the fans and the questions. Absolutely. And I was just, I was excited to get to the next question because you touched on it about the costumes. And this one comes from um, W.T. Coombs on Twitter. Is it difficult moving around in your black dress? It looks so heavy and cumbersome. Yeah, I mean, Harvey, you can probably speak about this. I don't. Think I can only speak I, for myself, Tosh, and I've told you this before in court. Okay. Yes, and as I told you in court, I could do with some more support on that set. No, all I do is talk about how heavy my costume is. It's a really fun, it's like my one-liner. Like, ah, oh, my costumes are heavy. Well, the uh, funny thing is that you end up wearing real, I mean, the costume's always heavy and you have to fly in it, which is like another layer of like 30 pounds. You know what I mean? And also when you walk in snow, I always like being behind you. Cause it's like, you could just see that it's just like a workout. Like you're just walking in the snow and your dress is just dragging the snow behind you. And it's just adding more weight. It's like someone's putting weights on weights on your dress as you dress drag across and, the- uh, and then also then you've got like it's me doing that and then Kayvan who can barely like he can't even like bend because his costume's very that stiff so he can't see where he's his going boots, and then he, his boots are pretty high his boots are so high so we can't even get them down when he goes to the toilet Spoiler. yeah but I gotta say though like at the end of the day you have some of the most beautiful costumes oh, like, oh, no, uh, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way like and it really does help you get into you know, the fact that she wears these clothes, even though she lives in the modern day and she could wear anything, is so funny to me. It's like, why would you bother? So, no, you ha- we have to have those costumes, but it, the reality is you get a lot of hilarious chat from me about how heavy my costume is. <laughs> well, that answers that. This next question comes from Sooner's Nails Girl. And she asks, Nacha has the best insult terms of endearment um, you have the best insult in terms of endearment. Which has been your favorite? Love your stupid little turkey. Ah, uh, I was once a turkey, as you saw earlier on. Yeah, so that's um, your start. That's we, could you be cousins. we could be cousins. <laughs> um, my favorite term of endearment or insult. I'm trying to think. What do I, what do I, um, I love, I don't know. I love it. I love. I don't know if I've got. No, I can't think. My brain is completely dead. What? What is? What's some? Just like I just. I feel like all my character, all Nadia Mani does is insult people or tell them she loves them. She's either like, I hate you, you stupid piece of snake, or you are the only one I want to marry. She has two extremes, right? Like I feel like Nadia's either here or here. It's just like that's the way it is. Just like me, baby. <laughs> um. Here's a good one from Sterified on Instagram asked, if Naja were to write a book, what would be the title and subject matter? The title would be um, Me So Horny. And the subject matter would be in detail how incredible and complex her vagina is. (laughs) That's a long title for a book. No, that's the subject matter. The, okay. the title is the title, me, so, me So Horny. And me, then, okay. Me So Horny for Blood. Because <laughs> that's actually a song that you sang this season. We're feeling horny for blood. Oh my God, yeah, that is. Oh God, I really <laughs> need to get some new jokes. Christ alive. <laughs> um, that's okay, because look, we got a good one. Abs um, here asks, what do you think makes Naja different from the lady vampires you see on shows and movies like True Blood and Twilight? What makes her so different? She's got a personality. Oh. oh. No. I think all I think it's the same for the male vampires as well. Like they, I, it's a comedy, right? So all those shows it's they're so brooding and dramatic and emotional and these characters are dense and thick and stupid and a laugh 
a real laugh. I mean, who would you rather go to the who, to the pub, to the old British pub with? Who would you rather go, Nadia and Lasmo, or what? What are they called? Bell, Bella and what's he? Edward Snoresville. I would go with Nadia. Yeah. And there you are. I'm going to be on the bar with my boobs out doing shots off my knees. <laughs> And Bella and Edward are going to be in the corner being like, mm, I, I just love you. Should we go and get a mountain lion? <laughs> That's good. Okay, here's another one. Bug303 asks, Natasha, what do you do in the shadows? Masturbate. Yeah, but that's public knowledge. Like that's not really in the shadows. You actually were arrested a couple of times for that in London. That's when I. That's when I emerged out of the shadows. Unfortunately, that's when I. I got it. it the moment took me, and it was daylight. No, what do I do in the shadows? We've been. We get asked this a lot. I feel like obviously because of the title of the show. What do I do in the shadows? A lot of sort of sitting, staring, trying to like trying to like do impressions of Crazy Frog. What do you do in the shadows, sweet Hadave? I don't think we have enough time. Um, <laughs> but another question for you is from Karen Debbie. She says, what do you as a person have in common with your character, Naja? Um, that I fall for the wrong guy. <laughs> what a terrible answer. Um, <laughs> that I, um, that I have, I've, I, when I when I have sex with men, I do often. They don't they don't lose their head as in physically, but they lose their mind. <laughs> they end up in the loony bin. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. Natasha from New Jersey asks, "Have you always been comedic? What motivates you to do comedy?" Sorry, my brother was trying to call me. Then shout out to Jamie Dimitri. Um, say that again. Uh, Natasha from New Jersey asks, "Have you always been comedic? What motivates you to do comedy?" Um, I, I mean, I don't think I, I think to my parents, I'm probably not comedic. I'm probably very stressful because I decided that I wanted, because I've been trying, I wanted to do acting and that's, that's a rabid, that is a rabidly stressful ambition for a child to have. But no, I think me and my brother always used to make, we just used to make each other laugh. And I, I tell you the first the show that I was obsessed with, and I still obviously think they think they're all amazing, but I was obsessed with the Muppets mm. and Sesame Street and Jim Henson oh. stuff. And that was me walking a puppet across the stage. <laughs> I thought you were showing me how you wank, and I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> yeah, because we're going back to that question: What I do in the shadows? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I um. I, yeah, I, I think that watching watching the Muppets and being like, and then British comedy that I grew up absolutely loving, French and Saunders, who do you know absolutely fabulous, and The Office and all that stuff. You know, flight. You remember that story of when you we were talking about absolutely fabulous when you came up, when we were talking. Oh about God, what was that? What what wait? Because you came up to me and you said. Uh, oh, it's like that show in the UK. Do you know? Do you guys watch this here? It's uh, absolutely fabulous. And I said. We call it Ab Fab. <laughs> was that that night that maybe maybe you'd had a few too a few too many? <laughs> I think it was. I think it was a night that that's most likely accurate. Yeah. Um, but what? Speaking of the Muppets, though, what was your favorite character from the Muppets? Um, I loved Elmo. I loved. Um, there was an elephant and the elephant and the scorpion. <laughs> And the scorpion would always be like, ah, saying so. He like there was a t there was a thing thing on Muppets Tonight where he'd tell a joke. He'd be like, ah, oh, 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 what are you at? Why why the chicken across the road? Because there was a, there was some some feet on the other side. And then they would cut to the audience, and the whole audience would be like that. Because <laughs> there'd be nothing that's not funny. I mean, that is a terrible retelling, and I've ruined the gym oh, business God. with that. Miss Piggy, I mean, she's a role model. She's a complete role she's model. She's my role model. Hi. She's, my, she's um, <laughs> she's she's my pinup. She's a pinup model. Yeah, I love her. Uh, okay, it's time to play our first game, Tosh. We're gonna play. Are you as smart as a familiar? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. 
No, you always you always go down there. You're supposed to go. Da 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 We'll just record later. And here's the game. So the way it works is we're gonna ask you five questions, Tosh. You're gonna have five opportunities to move up to the level from are you as smart as a werewolf, as a Topher, as a Sean, as a Jess, 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 Nandor, or are you as smart as a familiar? So you gotta get them all right to see if you're as smart as a familiar, right? We're gonna ask you four questions. Interesting that you host this and, and you are, your character is the highest. All right, here we go with the game. We're gonna go start it with A, B, or C, or D. The first question is up. Here we go, first question is, in season one, episode three, the series has the encounter with the werewolves. How old is Taylor Lautner? Oh, come A, on. 32, B, 28, C, 26, or D, 34. Now, Tosh, before you go on, we give you two options here for lifelines. You can ask for oh 50. God, this is, sorry, sorry. Are you, have you got permission from who wants to be a millionaire to do this? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that game, and we definitely are not copywriting anything that has already been done. So you get 50-50, or we take two answers away for you, or you get Ask the Audience, which we are asking the audience live to help you, and they'll be able to give you an answer, and you get to choose if you want to use it or not. So you only get to use those two lifelines throughout uh, these questions. So what's your answer here? Um, how old is uh, how old is Taylor? Today, how old is Taylor? Today, today, right now, yes? Yes. I feel like in the Twilight films, they were all supposed to be like 13, but they all looked about 45. So, <laughs> and they came out a while ago. So I'm going to go with my boy's old, D. Well, not old, but he's the oldest number option, 34. Is that your final answer? Or do you want to use a lifeline? No, boy, I'm fine out here on hey. my own. So you say D34, let's show the right answer, please. Oh. oh, so you're staying put at werewolf level. Let's move on to the next question. No. <laughs> How many years has Guillermo been Nandor's familiar? A, 10, B, 20, C, 11, or D, 16? Wait, I would say, can I ask, can I ask, can I ask a question as we are castmates? Mm, you could ask a friend. You could ask me. You yeah. are my friend. You are my friend. <laughs> I just, I just have a technical question. Okay. Are we saying that series two was a year after series one? Time has gone by, and so it is no longer the same anniversary that it was in season one. Then it's eleven, right? Show me the right answer. That's right. It's eleven. Yay! You got one right. Woo! Now you're moving on to Topher level. Nice. Yeah, Next. Winning the game. All right, here we go. Next question. Carol Baskin's husband went missing. How did Naja meet Laszlo? <laughs> a, a friend's party. B, I can see that. Oh, climbing up his balcony. C, Arranged marriage or D at a funeral? You know, I met him like I meet all my guys. I climbed up to his balcony, boy. Yes, that's B. <laughs> Yay! You moved on to I our mean, neighbor, no, no, Sean. To Anthony and, and Tamanik, who is one of the funniest and most beloved guest stars on the show. And he was only supposed to be in one episode on series yeah. one but he smashed it and was so funny that they got him back. And then they got him back to series two and it was heaven working with him again. He's, He's so, so funny. And the nicest guy too. The nicest guy, yeah, I love him. Yeah. All right, moving on. Let's see if we can move on to Jeff, Jess, Jess. Where is Nando originally from? A, Russia. B, Alconidur. C, Alconodar. Or D, Alkolitsar. I know this answer because these were some long days of filming this app, and I heard this line a lot of times. It's C, Alcondador. 
Yes! Woo! Confetti in your face. So you moved on to Jeff. <laughs> that is the, to move on. And again, we should say that, yeah, an amazing, amazing character. Amazing it's performance. So great. We got him back in, uh, for season two as well, or series two. So it was yeah. great to have him as well. Um, oh, I was so pleased. He's heaven. Such. How can someone be that attractive? And also that down to earth and nice and funny and cool. Ah, well, we had him on the show earlier, and he had nothing but nice things to say working with you as well. So, there you go. So he got my bank transfer. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to the next question. Here we are. What did that say? This female vampire um, predates Dracula by twenty five years and is the first vampire story to have a female vampire as the protagonist. What is her name? A. Elizabeth Bathory. B, Vampirella, C, Carmilla, or D, Akasha. This female vampire predates Dracula by 20 years and is the first summer story to a female vampire protagonist. I mean, I, I want to say Carmilla because of Carmilla Soprano, because she is a true vampire. She has lived a million lives, but that's another show. And that's another Are you, show. Are you so sure you want another... any of your lifelines? Or... No, I'm, you... I'm going to take a lifeline. I'm going to take a lifeline, please. Take away two wrong answers, please. Oh, do you have Vampirella or C. Carmilla? Vampirella seems a bit too basic, but then it was 25 years before Dracula, so people were just like, you know, they were they were thriving if they weren't dying of having shit poured on their head. Go with your gut. What does your gut tell you? I'm going to see C. Tony, it's Carmela Soprano. That's right, it is Carmilla. I did it. <laughs> I didn't need that goddamn lifeline. Women, you we don't it. need lifelines. <laughs> so you only made it as far as Nandor, which is still pretty smart. You didn't make it as smart as a familiar. But if you would have won, you would have won this. That's right. You would have won a trip to Bora Bora. Rules and conditions apply. Travel appearances not included. It must be used before May 7, 2020. Shit. Yeah, Shit. well, you snooze, you lose, but you would have gone that well, awesome. There were bats in Bora Bora. I don't want anything to do with bats ATM. Thank you. <laughs> we have some really cool BTS stuff um, to show the audience, but on set, you're like a social butterfly. You like talking to people. You have a good time, great humor. Here's a picture of you showing something to one of our castmates. What are you showing them? Um... Probably a picture of inside my butthole. Yeah, that's what I thought because um, we we you keep sending those and we've asked you not to, but you keep sending them. So yeah, but I thought you would. I thought you'd be like, please don't send them. Wink, wink. Send some more. No, I I remember when I say please don't send them. I'm serious. And then you said wink, wink. That was you sending a wink, wink to me. I didn't say that. But you always show me yours, so I just thought it's. It's that's different, all right? That's different because I'm getting to character. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we did have a couple of photo shoots on set, and one of my favorite sh um, photo shoots, well, the only one we could show is this one. Can you one. send me that picture? That's such a nice one. And you, you, are, you are the resident photographer. Like, if I'm ever doing some dumb, trying to take some dumb photo, Harvey just, like, moonwalks in. It's like, sit there, move your head. <laughs> the light's over there, move your head. Can we get that? And then he snaps it and takes a better photo than anything. That's Look at this day. photo. It was going to be part of the calendar that um, is coming out in 2038. But this is a great photo. I love the lighting. I love your posture. Look at the you outfit. took that. You were, yeah. you were directing me. It's amazing. Yeah, I love that photo. I loved that costume as well. It was so, I liked it because my arms were free. Yeah, I it's so great. It's great. We'll have more of these BTS. But you're also really hands-on on set. Like, I know last season when we shot the orgy. I uh, know I am. You were really particular on, on what kind of props we would use. And I think this is a picture of you picking the props for that episode. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, I just said, I'm not sure what that is. Um, I just said, I just like, because I just was like, I wanted, you know, it's good sometimes to have familiar stuff around you. So I was like, I just told the art department, um, get what, like, I just told them a bunch of stuff that I already have, so I knew I would know how to handle it, so I told them like, to get that. What's that brand? It's called the Devil's what? Devil's... 
devil's butt plug yeah 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 it's just it's for it's for gals out there who if you know if you're born big they make products to fill it so don't worry yeah that's i didn't think about that that's actually that's wow that's genius that's actually come in all different sizes boy yeah, no, I have a lot to learn. You're teaching me and I appreciate that you're teaching me, but you're always really kind on set as well. I remember one scene you demanded that there be 300 roses, which is so crazy. And here's a picture of us uh, with some of them. Do you remember that yeah. day? They weren't enough. I do remember because I was livid because there weren't enough roses. It, it wasn't enough. It was 300 roses on set. And and I, I kicked off and I, 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 um, I got a, quite a few people fired that day and uh, I don't think any of them have worked again. So... <laughs> With that being said, we're going to play another game, our last game here. It's called This, That, or That, which we present to you two options. you got to pick one or the other. Or if you don't want to pick either or, you say bat, and we move on to the next one. But your goal is to never have to use bat, your special powers. Are you ready to play, Tosh? I, I am, but I actually didn't take in any of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's called This, That, or Bat. So we're right. going to present two options you're gonna have to pick one or the other but if you feel like you can't choose either or a real sophie's choice you say bat and we move on to the next question your goal is to not have to use your special powers of flying away how many bats do i get just one the goal is to use none so you're going to try to see if you can make it through the whole game without using any all right so let's see if we can make it i know here we go first question this or that a healthy fish dinner or a greasy cheeseburger? Uh, bat, you know I am <laughs> i don't eat meat or fish. I'm basically bat. vegan. All right, that's okay. Let's see how many we can get far without using bat. Next one, please. A day in the snow or a day in the sun? Oh, God, that's so hard. Wh wh which ones? So that the first one's this. I would say uh, <laughs> drinking in the snow. I hate being too hot, but I could do with some sun. I could do with a beach. No, this, this is, is that this? the snow one. Got it. She chooses this. Good job. All right, moving on to the next one. I can do it. I'm clever. <laughs> All right, next one. Conjoin kitten or a puppy with a tail in its forehead. I would say that because the conjoined kitten, I worry it'll be in so much pain, but the but tail between so No, but its eyes are all bloodshot. The, the tail coming out of its head, that's easy. I can just... I can just kiss that every day, and I have a little tail as well, so... Uh -huh. Well, you have a little tail, that's right. That's why all the costumes have to be the way they are. Yeah. Yeah. Good. If anyone, anyone, anyone out there with a human tail, shout out. I'm looking to, I'm looking to connect. <laughs> tail mingles, single, single tail mingles. Yeah, I'm looking to mingle with some. I'm looking to mingle with someone who is single and has a tail, like oh, I couldn't think of mingle shingle, <laughs> mingle dingle. There's a little dingle. Oh, I don't know. The next one. Would you rather spend a day in a coffin full of rats or a coffin full of spiders? Uh, rats every time, every really? single time. Are you kidding? They have four legs. Do you have any legs you're dealing with, with the spiders? And also rats, you know, they're just like small kittens. <laughs> what? <laughs> they, I don't, I don't, I am a very similar to a rat. Um, I love cheese. I love living in the sewers around at night crawling through holes <laughs> but i am not like a spider i do not have the energy to make a web <laughs> all right moving on to the next one sexy time with two barons and a laszlo or sexy time with mark and myself well i've done sexy time with mark and yourself as you can see <laughs> now I'm gonna. That was so hot that night. I'm gonna go do a second round with you and Mark. Ooh. Okay. Good answer. And I show you something. I've got to show you something. That photo is up in my bedroom. Look. Oh, there it is. Why was it next to the trash can? Um, because um, 
it's along with my most treasured possessions and the trash can is my most treasured possession <laughs> that's amazing that's a, that was a fun night that was our that was TCA so and that uh, was the last yeah. time we saw each other that was, that was the last the time we saw each other of, that I was know. the old world well saw each other in the flesh that was the old world i know natasha you didn't win this second game but if you would have won you would have won this lovely gift there it is a brand oh. new that rules and conditions applied. Let's pick up a table. Eight, 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 I have never had a chair or a table. Oh, uh, I know, I know. Next time, we can always come back and play the game again. So this has been super fun. Tasha, is there anything you want to just tell to the audience as we do the show? It's just for the audience and the fans that love the show and uh, during these crazy times, just to keep them, you know. Um, watching something about the show. That's what we started this whole thing. So is there a message you want to give them or say hi to anyone? Yeah, I want to say, obviously, it's just we're so lucky to be to have a job, like being on What We Do in the Shadows. And the fact that people love it and are so nice about it and make pictures and say nice things truly, truly is like, is like magic it's just it's unbelievable isn't it that people just like love the show and love the characters and um yeah you're all pathetic stop stop licking my ass because i got enough <laughs> on my mind no i'm joking no i'm joking you guys are the honestly it means the world it's so lovely and as far as the the hill the the lol lolathon we're all involved in at the moment with the pandemic just like yeah just i guess i just send my love to everyone i mean it's just what can you say you just have to be strong watch funny tv do puzzles drink lots of water breathe and do yoga with adrian which has been getting me through on YouTube, which has been getting me through a lot. But yeah, I love you all. Thank you so much for your support Aww. and for your kind words. It's it like it means the world and it really cheers cheers me up and makes me feel so happy. God, that was a long message. Well, you cheer everyone up and you don't stop giving back to the community because we actually got uh, a hold of the commercial that hasn't aired yet, but it's going to air. So Tosh, let's roll that last commercial. Um, Enjoy, guys. I'm sorry, David. I've just laid an egg. Can we cut there? <laughs> Someone clean this up. Sarah, can you come and clean this up? <laughs> Taj, you're hilarious. You're wonderful. Thank you for coming on and saying such beautiful words. And hopefully, I'll see you soon. Everyone, say bye. Say bye to everyone, Tosh. Bye, Taj. Bye, Harvey. Thank you so much for doing this, you little angel. Of course. Till next time. Mwah. That's all the time we have for today. And if you haven't caught up with the whole season, you can do so on Hulu, because streaming now on Hulu. Also, before we go, I want to give out my artist shout out of the week. And this one goes out to Thomas Wilson, a fan of the show, who went into a shop and asked another artist to draw this on his body. Thomas Wilson asked Colt Lee to draw a superb owl as a tattoo. And here you have it. There you go. Art, inspiring art, inspiring art. And we love it here on the show. <laughs> so if you want to share your art in whatever form that is, make sure you use the hashtag before the shadows. So we'll see you next time. But before we go, remember, guys, take care of yourself. And if you don't do it for yourself, then do it for someone you love. All right. See you next time. Bye. Never, wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah.